Hey, what's up everybody? So today I actually have one of these guys. We got an official one. Um, no more using the phone because the phone was really, really, really inaccurate. Uh, it looks like by about 10 decibels. So I'm going to, in 30 seconds, rerun all six of the shots that I made last time. And then we're going to do a couple other sound comparisons because uh, this guy's pretty cool. And apparently I'm talking really loud because I'm at like 80 decibels right now. Ambient is like 56 out here. 80 seems loud, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I have the decibel meter here set up for um, maximum. So it's gonna hold on to the maximum sound level. Okay, so just like last time, we are going to start with the uh, the 22 long rifle. I'm gonna start with three CCI quiet 22 rounds, which are suppressor rounds, uh, subsonics. And then uh, it's uh, three of the standard hollow point uh, federal rounds. And those are supersonic. One. Weapon is clear, 86.2. Okay, that's the 22 long rifle. And here is the 22 uh, Magnum. We're gonna start out with the three CCI hollow point, and then we're gonna move on to three uh, CCI VMAX. Okay, so those results were definitely more consistent and uh, a little more believable than on my phone. What we're going to do now is compare the sound of the muzzle blast from behind the gun where the shooter stands and from in front of the gun. Shot one, reset. <laughs> Moving up to the Federal. Definitely louder. <laughs> Weapon clear. Okay, we're moving on to the VMAX. Okay guys, now we're going to get down to everyone's favorite part of a gun video, the numbers. So it was actually quite surprising to me that the deltas between the rear and the front of the gun in both cases for all 12 rounds seemed to be basically in a margin of error. We got a .4 on the long rifle hollow point, a .4 on the WMR VMAX, a .1 on the WMR hollow point, and the only one that surprised me at first until I thought about it a little bit was the long rifle quiet there was a there was a delta there of 6.1 decibels uh, now just consider the fact that since it is subsonic that sound of the round itself is traveling a lot slower so that's going to take a lot longer comparatively to reach the shooter's ear from the muzzle of the gun so everything else here was traveling at supersonic speeds so the difference in time is negligible and the deltas here are within the margin of error anyway so unless you are shooting that subsonic ammunition you're not going to notice any difference in the perceived sound between being in front of the gun and being behind the gun so that's it for this one guys i know this one was a little bit quick and a little bit recappy but um i just i got the i got the new decibel meter and I wanted to uh, show you guys the real numbers as opposed to something just off of my phone. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing here. And hit the little bell if you want to notify when no more comes out. So if you have anything you want to see, let me know. And I'll let you know if I can do it and it's within my power to do it. Uh, if you want to see a 50 BMG or something like that. Unfortunately, I'm not at that level yet. But uh, hey, guys, get me there. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next one.